Salut, salut, c'est encore moi. Hi, you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Nayeli. How are you guys doing today? And welcome if you are new here. I love you. And welcome back for my OGs. How are you guys doing? I'm so excited. So today's video is about a present set. As you can see, total nail heart. <laughs> hopefully easier for you <laughs> and for me too so before we continue don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell and most of all don't forget to come back i love you guys so we jump right into the video and we are presenting you with a new gel polish from rosalind beautiful colors you guys i am so in love with them like <laughs> they have some that glows in the dark but i didn't know for some reason these also glow in the dark i don't know <laughs> but yeah i tried it and i happened to see that it was glowing so i won't be swatching this gel polish in this video because i will be applying everything on the nails besides just one color so you will be able to see all of it but the color are very pigmented pretty creamy i really love it it's kind of like jelly but it's not jelly <laughs> you know the jelly colors but anyways it fits perfectly for what i was going for you know halloween is here and whatever <laughs> so yeah i am going um soon to the hospital because of my health as you know so i wanted to throw something out very quick just in case you know i'm gonna come back in time for the rest of the videos and finishing editing but let's not talk about me let's keep on moving <laughs> with the video so yeah i really love these colors and you can catch it on amazon i'll be putting everything in the description box as you know as usual <laughs> anyways yeah so that's all i'm doing and you know it's, it will be a pretty simple application as um as a present set like we always do in this channel but uh this time i decided to go with the nail heart for halloween because i was prepping actually my nails for what i would be wearing on halloween day because i decided to cosplay this year with my kids and they already have their custom ready i will be getting mine soon so we can match or whatever with my daughter but yeah enough about me so like you already know i always do the pop-off method because i have so many uh set to do you know but yeah what i'm using is actually the peel of base coat but i selected my nails and how you select your nails make sure they fit out what to side wall you see the numbers that's how i pick mine and uh yeah because sometimes your nails can be really small sometimes they are pretty large and it depends but you make sure they fit side wall to side wall so it's not too small or it's not too big or otherwise when you'll be gluing you'll be gluing to your skin and we do not want that because you'll be hurting yourself when you you know pop them off or whatever <laughs> so yeah that's all i do and then after that i use the beetle nail glue especially from beetles you guys i love this glue absolutely efficient <laughs> you know i love to say absolutely efficient <laughs> but anyways so that's what i use and oh uh, yeah afterwards i glue them on i make sure i put my peel off base coat first cure it for 60 seconds afterwards start to glue the nails on and then we'll be ready for the application This step is not actually necessary if you don't need it, but I like my nails to be kind of sharp. That's why I make sure I file them up, buff them up. I did it on camera because, you know, sometimes people get confused. I like my nails to be matted. I don't know why, but that's how I am. But anyways, so afterwards, we start the application of the gel polishes. As you can see, my light keep messing up. <laughs> sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not, but don't mind that. I'm sorry. So I'm applying... I will be applying off camera two more coats but on camera i'm applying one coat as you can see they are pretty pigmented like i told you so it 
it actually doesn't change anything if it's just one coat or two coat but i prefer to have two coat on so it's not too much of a jelly see-through kind of color but it was still see-through <laughs> it was still see-through at the end of the day but yeah i really love how it came out and don't forget to always make sure you clean the area of your nails so it doesn't be messy and your application is pretty nice because sometimes i just be you know my hand be shaking because i have tremors and all that so yeah that's why i do that the you can use alcohol acetyl alcohol that's what i use I means if you don't have it acetone would do it but i prefer alcohol So once we are sure the application is nice and steady and we like it, we make sure we cure it in the big lamp for 60 seconds. My big lamp is like 150 watts, so yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> Sometimes I just leave it in there for 40 seconds so it doesn't burn me. I don't have any peak heat peak in the lamp, but yeah. So that's all I do, make sure everything is crisp and cured, and then we'll be starting with the nail heart. So the number one nail heart will be um, the Monster Frankenstein and yeah it's pretty easy <laughs> I don't know if I have to explain it or whatever I don't want to bore you but yeah all I do is use my Kusa gel liner I got that on Amazon also all you have to do is make sure you tap the name it's pretty cheap but you, you have gel liner in all those brands now so yeah you can catch it anyway but it's pretty easier for the nail heart and you know writing and all that but yeah that's all i'm using to make sure i draw the lines pretty thin and then i fill it up with the color that need to be filled in um yeah because i told you my hands be shaking i have tremors so sometimes you'll be seeing a little bit messy so off camera i'll be trying to clean and make sure it's crisp for you guys to be seeing it but yeah if you, if you see it moving and all that it's not the final product you know anyways yeah so that's all i'm doing i make sure um i design it or draw it <laughs> pretty you know close enough to reality so it look pretty nice for you guys and your eyes the aesthetic okay but yeah that's all i'm doing it, it's pretty it's a pretty easy for beginners pretty easy um nail hard to do so i'm gonna just let you watch it and if i i need to jump in and explain i will be doing so To draw the eyes is pretty easy you don't have to panic all you have to do is use your dotting pen and the gel and then just make some rounds you know for the you know close enough for the googly eyes and then uh, use your I use both side of my dotting pen they have like a smaller side and the bigger side the bigger side is for the big pieces and then the smaller side is for you know the little point and 
you know commas and <laughs> all those little design that this need precision so that's all i'm doing i don't know if i need to you know tell you about it but yeah i make sure it's pretty sturdy and pretty um precise so you know you can reproduce it Also remember to flash carry it in between designs so the color don't mix and clash because otherwise it would be messing your design so every time you see me going out of the camera I flash carry it with the flash care uh, lamp curing link that I have on my side it's a clamp to the table and then after I finish everything I big cure it in the lamp so that's all I'm doing y'all So for the pumpkin it's pretty simple, I thought it would be complicated to do but all you have to do is just follow because my nail was already uh, orange so it didn't take too much you know, precision and too much detail but I drew the lines remembering how pumpkin look and then after I was finished with the design I just filled it up with a different uh, orange that was close enough to a pumpkin color then apply some glitter in it from my cart. Don't forget you can use my code on the Makart website to get yourself some nice nice things and then they got the box for this month with Valentina hi girl I love her <laughs> anyways they got the box with her for the other uh, the month of October so you can catch yourself some nice deals and some nice items anyways so that's all I'm doing designing the pumpkin and then we'll be no moving to the next design it's pretty simple so I'm gonna just let you watch it <laughs> you can see I'm applying the glitter on the gel polish that I just applied you know the orange it's uncured I have to remember <laughs> remind you that the gel is not cured yet so I applied the um, the glitter so you can stick in it and you know have a little shape and in graphism if I can say it like that then cure it for 30 seconds and then keep on moving with the design 
but I, yeah I make sure I overdraw everything because I have a tendency to kind of like <laughs> overfill the, the design that I do so I make sure every, I, once I was done with everything I was going in and you know perfecting what I messed up then we keep on moving <laughs> Next design is pretty easy. I was going for the ghost look and yeah, with the ghost you don't have to do anything complicated. All you need is a dotting pen and your gel polish and your liner, whichever you have. Just make a round, a gross round, like it doesn't have to be perfect. Then you know, fill it up with your dotting pen. I'm using the smallest part of the dotting pen. Uh, like have one that's like a pointy shape and then there's one that's a little bit longer so I'm using that to make sure that I design it you know a ghost shape it's not really complicated <laughs> I don't have to you know explain too much about it but yeah once I draw the ghost shape and uh, I'm satisfied with it I make sure I flash carry it then use the smallest part of the dotting pen once again and then start to design the face all you need is do just three you know three points and <laughs> three dots and then make sure it look like a ghost you flash cure and then i keep on moving i'll be filling the rest up with um the stickers the 3d stickers so that's why i kept on moving and then afterward we're going with jack's kellington you guys and i was so excited to do that one i didn't know if it would be coming out like <laughs> like i wanted because i have the actual you know like a button that i did as a charm I'll be using in another set once I come back from the um, the hospital soon and then I'll be you know making a set and I have to reproduce one of my best nails that I did for Halloween last year when I come back and then I'll be doing the Jack Skellington whole set with Sally I hope you will be liking it but yeah let's not forget <laughs> what we're talking about here so the design is pretty simple i use my dotting pen and then you know kind of design the shape and then off camera i don't know why my camera cut off i think my phone shut off that iphone is <sighs> anyways but yeah all i did was use my dotting pen um and then just you know design the eyes with the black gel liner and then cured it and then afterwards just keep on moving with the design I didn't very very much use too much thing he was just a dotting pen the gel liners helped me so much in the design you guys I was so happy with it with you know how it was going I was very satisfied with it but yeah all I'm doing is just drawing the face you can do it mad you can do it satisfied you can do it but yeah anyways <laughs> I went with something not too complicated so I don't mess up the design so that's all I did then try to smile and you know with this evil smile I like it so yeah, and then I keep on moving with the rest of the outfit that he got on. <laughs> At first I wanted to apply the foil you know for the suit and all that but I decided to design it because it wasn't very much complicated so I went ahead and used my gel liner and fitted up the space because I drew his neck a little bit too long I think so <laughs> so I was trying to cover up the rest and all that so that's all I did make sure I fit it up very nice and draw the shape very nicely I'll be still applying a uh, nail foil around his neck for the you know the is how you got the tie <laughs> and then a little sticker to make it a little bit dramatic so that's all I'm doing <music> so 
So with the transfer foil glue, I applied just on the spot that I wanted, not on the whole nail or it be sticky and messy. And then, yeah, like I told you, I wanted to do another ghost also. So all I do is apply the foil glue, cure it for 30 seconds or 60. 60 is better. It's still sticky after 60 seconds anyways. And then you apply the, you know, the foil where you want. Make sure you rub it. You rub it nicely so the transfer can be done without messing up your design. So that's all I did. I make sure I rub, 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 rub it up. <laughs> and then I remove it and then I was ready to go. But for Jack and his tie, I just went ahead and applied a big bat around his neck because I didn't feel like drawing it. <laughs> and then I went with the small cute bat and then I... You know, <laughs> it's a 3D bat. I think I got that from Amazon. Then, you know, glue it on, on for the, like, the tie, the, the part, the black part. But it's a bat. <laughs> Very cute. Then I did the ghost, and then afterwards, we were ready to go. The witch look was actually easier because, <laughs> you know, it's just the feet and the head. I don't think I have the middle part. I used it on the notice set last year, so yeah, but that's fine. I think you still can see the, you know, <laughs> the concept of the thing. But yeah, after I shape it up very nice, it's kind of thick, so when you apply it, I rather apply it without having the top coat yet on because it would be lifting. I don't like it, so I apply the thing directly on the nail, rub it up very nicely, make sure I apply here and there some razzle-dazzle of you know spider web and all that to make sure it's dramatic and a little black cat because which black cat you know they go together <laughs> then afterwards when I finish everything I'll be mattifying everything you can do glossy you know that's none of my business but I prefer matte <laughs> on this set but yeah that's all I did and then I make sure I carry it very nicely I make sure I carry it off camera actually pretty longer that's why sometimes my hands are messed up because it's always in the uv but yeah that's all i do and then once we're done we'll be ready to go okay This matte coat, this matte coat is actually from Rosaline and it's pretty good, you guys. It's very mattifying, like, and then it doesn't stain like that. I don't know. I like it when it doesn't stain because when you have kids, <laughs> your nails stay be dirty and you know mess up your design, etc. But yeah, all I do is just now applying the mattifying top coat and then um, we're ready to move on. Okay. <laughs> For the top coat part, as you can see, I'm applying it just on the part of the pumpkin that's shiny so it can have a little effect dramatic. After, actually, off camera, I use my dotting pen and I enhance the, just the orange part to make it look like a 3D design. I don't know if you know what I'm trying to explain. Like, I use my top coat and just, you know, highlight the thing so it can look a little bumpy, as you can see on the uh, video. So that's all I did you guys and I hope you liked the video that was a little vibe for Halloween and I think I'll be wearing these nails <laughs> like I told you for Halloween I'll be doing the right hand also but another set coming very soon once I get out of the hospital but yeah. I really love it. My daughter wanted to, you know, match me. She wanted to see something because I've been doing the nails for Halloween. Since she's a little witch <laughs> for Halloween, I think I'm going to match her and get a witch outfit for grown people. But you guys, how cool it is. Close in the dark. I love it. I love it. I really love it. But anyways, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to come back, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and let's monetize this channel, y'all. I love you so much, and as you can see, I popped them off already. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!